Hi Aries, welcome to this reading. I hope that you're doing well today. Okay, what's going on? We have the Ten of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles reversed and the Ace of Swords. Okay, so it looks like you've been through an ending here of a cycle or a situation that was particularly heavy. And we're getting some kind of an offer um, being made i feel from your person to you now this this sort of the the image of a basketball or playing a team sport i think i mean of course that can literally resonate with some of you but i feel specifically what i'm getting here from spirit is something about being a team player your person showing up and offering something to you maybe physically gifting you something that they had been holding now they're giving it to you and it it starts this um open dialogue between you it might even be the thing that gets you back into communication if you're not talking currently I feel that your person, yeah, I was just going to say, has gone through some kind of a transition, a death and a rebirth, actually. Um, and with this Four of Swords, I do think they've been taking some time to self-reflect here. You could have said something, you could have spoken a truth that got them to actually go within and think about what you were saying um, and realise there's a need for them to communicate, to speak their truth. So I feel like right now your person is thinking about what offer to make. So let me just pause here and see, what is this? <clears throat> it's something they're worried about. Um, they could be saying, yeah, it's time for a rebirth. It's time for a new beginning. Judgment here. I have to do this right. This has to be, um, we have death, Scorpio energy. I have to, um, you know, I have to pull this off. It has to be done well. Okay, so show us what this pentacle is, please. This page of pentacles, what is this? Knight of Wands reversed. So they do not want to come towards you seeming flaky or um, leaving you feeling that they're here one minute and gone the next. Also, you know, the Knight of Wands can be quite a brave energy or person. <laughs> I have to say, they, they need to build up their courage a bit. They are quite worried. They're overthinking. They're quite nervous. They might have an idea or a few ideas and they're going back and forth between all of these ideas about which is going to be the best approach. We have the Knight of Swords. You know what might happen? Um, they might just decide, you know what, forget it. I, I'm sick of going back and forth. I'm sick of overthinking. And they might just come in suddenly and it might even seem abrupt. And you might be thinking of all the ways my person was thinking about reconnecting or making this offer or carrying out this gesture. This is the one they chose. <laughs> Excuse me. It's kind of... Um, it's kind of startling, but if you know, if you look on the back, we have the lovers, so it's well intentioned. Um, they they do mean well. There's a lot of emotion, of a lot of passion that's going into it. We have Gemini energy here, but I think that it's just like right. I've got a tiny bit of courage. Let me just go for it. Let me ride this wave of momentum and do this thing now that I, I've been overthinking. So for some of you, what they're offering, it could be this communication. If you have said to them, you know. I don't know where I stand with you, or I don't know what you want, I don't know if you want commitment or not, I don't know where this is going, we have the Ten of Pentacles on the back, I don't know if you're willing to make any changes for us, for this, to make room for this, um, you know, where do I stand with you, um, I've got things to do, I don't know if I should take this seriously or not, um, they have heard you, you know, they're making some sort of change here and they do want to communicate with you honestly about this. Okay, we have... The sun in the reverse, which is Leo energy, and we have the Queen of Swords reversed. Yeah, I think, you know, it. it's one thing to sometimes intuitively pick something up or have to infer something, but you don't want to have to do it all the time. And I think maybe you got fed up of doing that and you may have cut them off or you may have made this clear to them, look, you need to just tell me what's going on. I'm not gonna try and figure it out anymore. So I actually think if there's a separation, um, you may have been the one to create this, to put some distance, to almost push your person back and say, why don't you just take some time, think about whatever you need to. Um, I'm just gonna do my own thing over here. So your person, I think the reason they're so worried about coming forward is they feel that you might be angry with them, um, that you might not be responsive to them, approaching you, trying to communicate. I do see them doing it but um, feeling quite stressed out, quite nervous, maybe even anticipating being told off by you as well. Okay, so let's have a look at this Queen of Swords. 
Yeah, page of wands reverse, three of swords reverse, the devil in reverse. Wow, Capricorn energy. But um, I feel that maybe you have this fear, maybe it was very valid, you know, that you and your person were repeating this cycle here, that maybe your connection was just about physicality or lust or um, that you kept having these false starts and it was causing pain. So you, you were like, no more. I'm not going to repeat this pattern. I'm not going to um, feel this pain again or to leave my heart exposed. So that's why you became this Queen of Swords and told them, you know, only only reach out to me, only come back around if you're serious. Otherwise, just leave me alone. I'm doing my own thing. <clears throat> so this person is serious. Let's go back to this Knight of Swords. And I feel that, you know, to pull away from this devil energy is not easy. So you might be very protective of yourself at this time because you perhaps have to work very hard to be in the, the place that you are in now, um, to have the perspective that you have, to have moved forward in some way. Tell me about this Knight of Swords, please. <clears throat> I'm feeling Aquarius energy here as well. Oh wow, Two of Cups. And I have heard that Aquarius is the sign of friendship. And sometimes the Two of Cups can be about friendship. It can be maybe a friend here where something more developed. It could be that you and your person in this new cycle that you're moving into, there's going to be a real emphasis on having that solid foundation of friendship first. Um, because that's what the Two of Cups can be. We have uh, the Tower here. So yeah, I feel there's a big powerful change coming in. And it's all about let's start again but let's take it slower this time um let's make sure we're on the same page let's make sure we're both giving equally to this not you know there's there's not a lack of balance here you're not giving too much while i'm being closed off that sort of thing i think you know this is what your person's saying to you um i want you to see that this is an equal partnership we'll have the friendship <clears throat> we'll have the trust we'll have the loyalty we'll have the passion we'll have the shared vision once we decide what it is that we want to build here um, so look, yeah, look what your person's coming in to say, Two of Cups, that you're the one for them. Um, maybe that they even feel that you are a soulmate here to them. <clears throat> I think they're very, very nervous. This is something they're trying to plan right now. Okay. <clears throat> so Aries, I would say to expect communication here. And it's interesting because the Knight of Swords can sometimes seem a bit cross, a bit angry. It doesn't really go with the Two of Cups energy, but I think the reason they're coming in this way, <clears throat> excuse my throat, <clears throat> is because, <laughs> yeah, this person's having a hard time getting this out, is because um, they don't want to overthink, they just want to tell you this, um, so they're just going to do it however they can. Okay, so let's see. Oh, yeah, overwhelmed. The stress from this is draining me. But I have to say, stress that they're causing themselves at this time with these worst case scenarios that they're imagining. Um, destiny, I'm struggling to find the right path. What I actually feel is that they kind of feel that you are their destiny. This connection is, is fated. It's meant to be. They're supposed to move forward with this. Um, we have unappreciated. I felt like you didn't care. To me, this... I. I think they've always known that you cared. It could be that you felt unappreciated. Um, for me, this feels like an anomaly. So maybe we'll come back and clarify that. We have guilty and unworthy. I feel pain for the damage I have caused. And I definitely see you have, um, I, I definitely can see that you have experienced some pain here and some, well, emotional damage. Um, I think maybe you're too strong to have let this impact your you know, the other areas of your life here. You know, there's all there's a resilience, there's a, a, a determination here with this Queen of Swords, you know. I'm going to, um, this pain, yes, it's very real, but I'm just gonna put it here. I'm not going to let it destroy me or weaken me or, or anything like that. And we have unworthy, you're a better person than I am. Hmm. I actually do feel that they feel that, but it, they're not going to let that stop them trying here, trying to be your equal, trying to show up in the way that you deserve. So let's see, what is this unappreciated message about, aside from maybe you having felt this yourself? Yeah, the Empress. I think this is more about you saying, um, actually, I'm an Empress over here. How are you not noticing? How are you treating me like I'm just some sort of page or something like that um okay 
good so let's see what else what other messages from your person okay so what final messages do we have spirit i feel a special bond with you that i've never felt before yeah there's that two of cups and also your person feeling like it's absolutely the right time for them to move forward with this connection they're meant to to explore this further it's not time for this to end they're not ready for this to end we have your all i've ever wanted and i actually don't think they realized this at first mainly because they perhaps weren't looking for anything they weren't expecting to meet someone who was you know the perfect person for them um i miss the feel of you next to me so that can be literally it can be even just energetically that queen of swords in reverse is not sharing her energy you know um i know i made a huge mistake um, I just, yeah, I just wasn't ready for you. So I do feel this person, you know, if they had gone out there into the world and they were saying, I'm going to find the one, I'm going to find my perfect partner, they would have been looking out um, for you, for the, for this person, you know, that, that was the one, um, but they weren't. So you came into their life and they just almost couldn't see it. You know how if we're manifesting and we're not on the vibration of what we want, it just passes us by, we won't see it. Kind of like that, you're coming up as the Empress, incredibly high vibration, but if your person wasn't feeling worthy, um, you know, it says unworthy here, if they were feeling, um, or just focused on something else entirely, it's like they, they couldn't quite match you. Um, they couldn't show up as the Emperor here. Okay, so this feels pretty straightforward, Aries. I think you put your foot down and said, sort yourself out or don't bother me again. And I think your person has chosen to sort themselves out because they don't want to lose you. So I do think they're coming in. I do think they're going to communicate with you. Um, but as I said, I wouldn't expect it to be soft and gentle and careful and romantic. It might seem like in a sense they're almost lashing out. But I think if you hear them out and let them figure their words out, you'll realize what they're getting at and actually it's something very nice. I think they just are, are panicked, stressed, overwhelmed, um, cannot figure out how to approach this in a calm way. Okay, so I will leave this here. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully see you again soon. Bye.